Hey guys, welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in beautiful Frederick, Colorado. Another cold morning. Um, so I'm gonna make this nice and easy for you guys. Just gonna bring to you one of our, uh, I would say, best vehicles on the lot right now. Um, you're looking at a 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn with only 15,000 miles on it nice and basic if you're looking for a nice easy truck basic truck um, something you could go to work with on a daily basis or just for a small family you know to head around town or go to the mountains and stuff it is four by four so let's take a look right now guys at this 2019 ram 1500 big horn this truck is nice and clean so you don't have to worry about scratches dense um, engine is in top shape so let's take a closer look at the front end <clears throat> and I told you guys a history about Ram and Dodge you know switching from Dodge to Ram um, in about uh, 2010 um, so all the new Rams from 2010 up will have that Ram sign in front so it's no longer known as a Dodge Ram it's only Ram Ram so uh, taking a look at this you got the Ram sign up here you got some nice fog lights and of course headlights up, up front which makes it a night a nice clear view um, while driving all right so right now we're looking at the 5.7 liter engine v8 sorry hemi so 5.7 v8 hemi engine and of course this one produces 395 horsepower and about 410 foot pounds of torque fuel mileage on this one is about 15 in the city 21 on the highway all depends on how heavy your foot is <laughs> but yeah it does uh does have some um, good uh, fuel mileage on here I remember it is a 5.7 liter so nice and clean engine as you guys saw nothing to worry about we did all our safety checks on this vehicle clean Carfax um, so you guys could always call me at the end of this video to get a Carfax report on this and of course check what warranty is left on it again it's a 19 so we still have some warranty left on this vehicle tires are in great shape got the Goodyear tires on here nice and scratchless uh, rims all uh, all windows are tinted um, just makes it easier for you know the sunlight and the heat inside the cab so uh, the back windows came tinted so a lot of people requested to have the front windows tinted as well so we try to you know be ahead of the game and just try to do it um, before customers actually ask for it so this we actually tinted the front window so makes it a clean look all around we got cloth interior the front seats uh, you could seat three people in here including including the driver so three in the front and if you could just stay there i'll go to the other side just want to show you guys a few cool features up here um, so down here you have a nice little storage box underneath the seat which makes it convenient to store personal items in here and of course once this is closed nobody unless if people know about those storage boxes know there is a a storage box underneath that seat so it just makes things a little bit easier and of course by pulling this level will allow this seat to to collapse and of course you have storage in here cup holders up here we try to use as much space as possible we have a little, nice little uh, shelf here glove box and of course a nice little tray here where you can put your coins and of course personal items in here as well all right let's take a look in the back
All right, so we come to the back seat. Tons of leg room. Um, again, it's all cloth seats. Right in the center here, you got your armrest or cup holder. Seats could fold to allow more room on the on the ground. And on each side of the uh, of the door, we actually have some storage boxes. One here, and of course, one right here. So Ram just tried to use as much storage boxes as possible. Any little room we could get, they will add a storage box here as well. A nice little box here for putting coins or just to rest your phone or something. Makes life easy. <laughs> and of course those seats fold back down for a comfortable ride. And then we'll continue with the bed of the truck. We did uh, protect the bed of the truck with a, it's almost like a rhino lining. So of course with that material on there, it's allow you know, the truck to, to last, the bed of the truck to last way longer, um, avoid scratches, rust. Um, so everybody who knew rhino lining, um, this is a similar texture to it. Um, but it just allows that clean look on the bed, um, of course. So, this one does come with a backup camera, a rear window, but it's manually operated. This one does come with the, the tow package. Um, ball is not included, so we do have that ball um, in the shop, um, in our parts department, so you could actually get the ball for this. Um, but it does come with a seven, um, four pin and seven pin hookup. Dual exhaust. Just gonna take a look inside. Like I said, this is a basic uh, Ram 1500. Um, so if you're looking for a work truck or something just simple, not too flashy, this is a truck for you. Right now I had this truck running and you could barely even notice that this truck is running, which is a pretty cool thing. On purchase, you get two keys. So this truck is, um, you do have remote start with this truck, so you can warm up the truck um, before entering. So you do get two RAM keys. Looks just like that. Nice small screen. It does have FM, AM radio. It does have your Bluetooth as well. My Bluetooth is not connected right now. And of course, hands-free calling for your phone. My phone is not connected either. And of course, um, it doesn't have navigation, but it does have a compass on there as well. Of course, your settings and more. So you can see the temperature outside, clock, and you could actually press to see the rev view camera without putting it in reverse. And of course, the clock, it's 9.30 right now, mountain time, and about 43 degrees but it feels colder than 43, uh, to be honest. Um, just taking a look down here, all your AC controls, off-road and tow um, switches here. Down here, you have your USB and phantom power and auxiliary plugins right here. Um, this is your gear. Uh, so right now we're in park, and just by the turn of a wheel, you could go into reverse, neutral, or drive. And of course, you see that orange light, the way you turn your wheel it will show you wherever you are. Four-wheel drive capability, so you have four automatic, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive low, and four-wheel drive high. On your steering wheel, you have your hands-free calling buttons up here. You have your cruise, co um, your cruise control up here. And of course, behind the wheel, on, on the right side, you have your volume controls. I don't know if you can see it right here. And on the other side is the same. Uh, that's to tune the radio or to uh, change your stations or music on your on your phone. Very simple, very easy. Um, 
what else like i said this vehicle drives amazing so guys don't hesitate to um call to ask for more information uh we just lowered the price just before uh christmas and i think my boss just lowered the price again um just before the new year so uh if you guys want to know more information on this truck like i said right now it has 15,305 miles on it um, like I said, it's a 19, low mileage, drives perfectly, clean Carfax. Um, if you guys want to come in and drive this particular unit, uh, please give me a call. Marlon Bledman is the name at 303-684-3412. And you can call me myself at 661-755-4344. You can email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com. If you guys want any more information, please feel free to contact me. I'm always here for my customers and make sure we could uh, work something out and um, have you live in this store with a smile on your face. So give me a call today and of course we'll make something happen. Tomorrow I'll bring to you guys one of our newest uh, freight liners on, on the lot. Um, of course we'll go over that, um, hook something up to it as well kind of show you the combination between you know having a freight line and one of those big trailers or fifth wheels we have on our lot you could buy a bundle deal and we'll make something happen of course as well so feel free uh tune in tomorrow again around this time for one of our newest freight liners on our lot and and we'll go over some of the cool features some of the safety features and of course just seeing the look of it pulling a trailer so uh thank you guys for tuning in again and uh thanks for all the thumbs up Good night. Goodbye. <laughs> Not good night. <laughs>